Hello everyone, welcome to Kumari's Home Cooking. I'm going to cook another mutton curry called Gadai Gosh. And uh, first we have to fry the mutton. This is 750 grams of mutton. You need four medium onions. You need three medium tomatoes and you need half cup of yogurt. First we have to fry the mutton in the pot. I'm going to pressure, pressure cook this so that it will be easy and I'm going to cook this until it's brown. I'm going to cook this until it turns light brown. Then I'm going to add in the onions and tomato and turmeric powder. I'm adding in half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now I'm going to add in the onions. It's almost slight brown. The mutton turned a little bit brown and I'm going to put in the onions. I'm going to put in the tomatoes and you don't have to do anything just leave it like that and you're going to cook this in the pressure cooker the pressure cooker is already cooked in 15 minutes and we have to wait for another 15 minutes to go the pressure to go down Mafe. It's already cooked in the pressure cooker. I'm going to transfer in there another pot so that I can cook it well. Okay, now I'm going to add in some ginger, sliced ginger. And I'm going to add in the green chili and some coriander. About two table, four tablespoon coriander to make it taste good. And also, I'm going to add in my homemade curry powder. You guys can use any curry powder. I'm going to use mine. I just made, and this is a leftover. I'm going to use this. And uh, you can use. For spiciness, you can use one teaspoon of plain chili powder. If you want more, then you can use a lot. This is very spicy, so I'm not going to use it. So let it cook for another 15 minutes, and then I'm going to add in the yogurt in 10 minutes time. Before, before 10 minutes, you can add in half cup of yogurt and let it cook for at least another 15 minutes or if the gravy is thickened and you can take it out you can stop the stove I'm going to add in one tablespoon of salt and let it cook for 15 minutes okay my mutton is done I'm gonna garnish with ginger ginger and coriander it's ready to eat I hope you guys can try this recipe it is very tasty thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment and like okay and do some ginger okay bye see you in the next recipe